when you guys get one of these signals, this is your buy, your currency. So it's gonna say buy or sell, it's gonna say which currency, and this is the price they want you to buy and sell at, okay? This is your first take profit, second take profit, third take profit. Damon's gonna teach what to do with each levels and which ones to put. And then your stop loss, this is, hey, the trade went too far in the opposite direction. Pull me out, I don't want to lose any more money. It's kind of your safety net. Okay, so yeah, let's be mindful of those numbers and let's go draw them on the chart. Okay, um, so let me put up Euro AUD then. So your OED. So, so this yeah, one was. A, a, so do you just want me to chart out this signal? horizontal line. That's easy. This horizontal line's okay. Yeah, that's easy. Okay, so see, you guys can see this green line right here. This is what price is currently at. If we were to enter a trade right now, this is what we would enter at. Now that signal was for what six, three three seven one six three three seven. It's almost still enterables. Yeah, right here. Actually, let's put raise. So in this trade, that entry point would be somewhere around here. Let's make this thicker. Uh, yeah, T tomorrow, is that your name? Tomorrow, yeah. What lot size do you recommend? We're gonna go over risk management in a second here, once we go over this. Um, so for take profit, okay, we'll do the stop loss first. So stop loss 16095. So we wanna find 16095. That's actually gonna be on a way bigger charge. <laughs> One six zero nine five. So our stop loss is around here. So this is our take me out of the trade if stuff is going south. And the take profit. Well, take profit. Do you want me to chart just number three and then walk them through it, or? Well, the, it, it, plot, plot both take profits, and then I'll explain how to do this. Now, guys, just FYI, um, it's not this hard to enter a trade with these levels. All you got to do is copy and paste. It's taking us a moment to set this up just for illustrative purposes. That's it. Yeah, I'm going to show you what it looks like on the computer and on the phone after. Yeah, I just don't want them to think, oh, this is kind of takes a little bit of work. I mean, any, any good business does, but no, it's actually easier than this. Wow, that, that risk management on that one was off. These are super accurate. 6437. Six, four. Can you get that orange one? Yeah. Oh, that's gotta be wrong. That feels wrong. Nope, that's right. Okay. So there you go. Plot it, Damon. Yeah. So what you need to do. So I get this question a lot. Um, is how do you manage multiple take profits? Now there's a few ways you can do this. Um, you can do it a little bit more hands on by opening two positions. So basically, you'd figure out what lot size you need to use and we'll discuss how to do that in just a second and just divide it by two. And then basically just enter twice at the exact same price, set the same stop loss for both and then set those different targets, right? So you'll have one that'll close at TP1 and then one that'll close at TP2. Now you can edit what percentage of the volume you want to do this with. If you want to do it with half of your trade, on TP1 or 75% of your trade on TP2 and let 25% run, which personally is what I usually do. I usually close 75% or 70% of my position at um, target one. And then, it, okay, so how about TP3? Hang on just a second. So I usually close 75% of my position at the first target or uh, 70 to 75. Um, I let the remaining 30 
to 25 to 30 run to target two or three. Um, at that point, I set my stop loss to break even and break even means on top of your entry, but plus the spread. Remember we talked about the spread. So if the spread is one pip, you do, you put the stop loss on your entry plus one pip. That way, if the market rebounds right there against you, you get out at zero cost. Okay. So we call that a risk-free trade. You can do that. Yeah. I'm going to show you guys what that kind of looks like. Um, so one of the things you want to do, uh, essentially what you should be doing with these signals is these ones typically do hit their take profit twos and their take profit threes. Um, so you can use the method Damon taught and here, here's the method that I like to use. Okay. So I enter the trade right here and the trade moves up. It hits my TP one. When I enter the trade, I enter it once, but I enter it for TP three. Okay. This is the number I'm picking. When it hits TP one, this is when I move my stop loss. So my stop loss that's down there, I move it right here. So again, if my spread was three pips, if it cost me three pips to enter the trade, then I'm gonna put my, my stop loss three pips positive, or maybe four pips, so I at least you know, bank something. Um, so that's what we do here. Then you just let it do its thing. Maybe it'll come back here, maybe it'll continue. When it continues to your TP2, what you want to do is now you want to move the stop loss that you had down here and you want to move your stop loss to TP1, right? So what this means now is all of this profit, you're going to get no matter what. No one can take that from you. It's The bag is now secured there, we like to say, right? And then once it hits TP2, it's either going to come back down and hit your TP1 or your stop loss, which is in profit. So it's still fine, you know, some money is better than no money, or it's going to continue onwards to TP3. That, that's how I like to play it out. Um, typically with these signals, David said, your TP1 is essentially your move your stop loss to break even TP, and then you can follow it how you see fit. And that should be true with any signal. Yeah. And then that's also why you guys might notice, like, why is this TP1 so short usually on these signals? That's why, because he wants you to go to break even really fast, so you take the risk out of the trade. Very important. Um, so now let's go into risk percent. Does, actually, does that, does that make sense for everyone? Does everyone understand yeah, let's that, make that sense because this, and what a stop loss is? This is a foreign language for a lot of people. So um, you know what I want to do, Mike? Mike? Mike, Mike, I have a training on all of this stuff, all of the basics. I have full tutorials and training, and it's free. So why don't you plug my website in there? and then tell them to make a free account because I have the full course on all of this basic stuff that breaks it all down for the people that don't know. So just go to marketsharksfx.com, he'll drop the link for that, and then just make a free account and you'll get, you'll get instant access to the free course. Yeah, so go there in the top right um, or in the middle if you're on mobile, it'll say uh, create a free account, something like that. And go ahead and create a free account, and then you don't even have to use a real email or name. I don't care. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I, I don't have it set up to follow up with you guys and spam me with stuff. So just go, um, go. You know, do whatever you got to do to you know, do that, and then um, just follow through the free course of getting started. And it teaches you about spread, leverage, um, different brokers, uh, just all of the basic stuff you need to know for this. Are you trying to pull up MT4 on your? Yeah. I was going to pull it up and just show them what it looks like on the, uh, the trader. You can just pull up a video of it on YouTube. There's a million of them. I'm going to join this chat or this here right now. One sec, guys. I'm going to show you it on the phone because that's where most people are going to do this anyways. Honestly, I do most of my trading on the phone. So Yeah, I, I use TradingView on my computer to look at everything but then i always enter but execution the execution the yeah the executions and the closes are on the phone yep yeah well, it, i just it's much better okay can everyone here see my phone i can yeah that's dope dude i didn't even know you could do that on zoom so do you even care? i'll make sure some other people can you guys see it perfect yeah they can see Georgia, I don't think we've met yet, but uh, hi, welcome to the team. I don't think I've met Andre either. Hi, uh, hello everybody. 
So let's go back to Euro AUD to make this nice and easy. Okay, actually, I'll show you guys one quick lesson here. So if you're on your Mediterranean floor and you realize, hey, uh, this audio is still a little funky. What's going on? What do you hear? A little echo. Oh, no. I thought you were hearing the, the dishes because the lady's doing the dishes. Okay, so let's say you guys get a signal and you don't, you can't find the pair, right? You're looking here, you're like, Euro AUD, I don't see it. How do, how do I take this? I go to my quotes, I, I don't see Euro AUD. How do I take this signal? You go up here to the plus sign in the top right corner, and then you're going to find it, you know, look for Forex majors. I'm going to look for it. Anything I see here means it's not on my chart. So I just click them, and now I can trade them. I go down here. I see Euro AUD, bam. Now I can go back here. Now all these are available for me to select. So we go quotes, we go Euro AUD, we go open chart. And now the same chart you guys saw in the MetaTrader 4. Now let's take that same signal from Telegram. Let me open up my Telegram here. All right, we have the Euro AUD. So we see what it wants us to enter at. We see our take profit. So we see the final take profit. I'm going to show you guys this using my method. So I would, use, I would enter the take profit three. So I see the 1.6437. So I go over here. I go here. I go new order. And I go 1.3467. Then I go grab my stop loss. I go back over to the app. I see the stop loss. 1.6095. 6. Zero nine five. Then all what you want to do is you want to make sure the number that they gave you for the at here. Oops. Um. So you see how it says the one point six three three seven. Let's say you get this signal. It's been two hours, and you just saw. It. You're like, Should I still enter the signal. Did I miss it? You see how it says the 1.6337? What you want to do is you want to go back to your chart and you want to make sure it's still around that price. As we see, it's at 1.6338. It's one pip away. Totally can still enter this trade. It's 100% fine, right? So that's how you know, is the trade still valid? Can I enter it? If it's a buy where it's supposed to go up and the, and the, the price value is a little lower, than it was when they called it. Well, now you're in a better position to enter it, still enter it. But if the trade's already started to move, if it's a buy and it's already moving up, don't chase a trade. If it started to move already, never chase a trade. That's just the lost cause. You missed it, there's gonna be more opportunities, it's fine. Um, yeah, chasing markets is exactly how we uh, had to let one of our signal providers go. Maybe it's yeah. a temporary let go, but you know, regardless, uh, you never, ever, ever, Chase, the, chase market. the market. Never. Then at the top here, you guys can see this number here that's changing. This is the lot size. This is how much I want to leverage into the market. That's what we're going to cover here next. What number do I put here? Once you guys figure out how to put your number here, then you hit buy or sell. And ta-da, that's it. You're now in the trade. You're in the market. You watch it. When the, when the trade hits TP1, you come into here. You edit it. You, you come here, you change your stop loss to whatever your break even was. So we enter the trade at 6337. So let's say, you know, it was three pips higher. So we're going to go 6340. We're three pips higher. That's the break even with the spreads. I edit it. It'll say order modified. And now Tomorrow, I some the of them are limits, but it will say limits. And it will yeah. say what limit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now let's say you guys get a a sell stop or a sell limit or a buy limit that just means enter the trade when the price reach a certain point but price isn't there yet um so stop essentially means it goes through so a buy stop means um when price hits this point and it's continuing onwards enter me into the trade so it'll kind of pick up as it goes through a buy limit means once price passes this point and then comes back down or but no, buy limit would be the opposite way. I did that the wrong way. Uh, when price is going down and it comes back up through point, right, Damon? That would be buy limit. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, I'd have to. And, and you know, the thing is, it won't even let you open one if it's wrong. Yeah, if no. you put it the wrong way, it'll error. Yeah, but it won't. Most of these signals will be market execution, so you don't really have to worry about that.
So now the risk management side. And by the way, that um, that MT4 Mobile looks super similar on iPhone. For you iPhone users, it looks pretty similar to that. Uh, in fact, I use an iPhone. I like it a whole hell of a lot better. It's much cleaner, in my opinion. That's just the Android versus iPhone whole cliche. But um, but yeah, it's pretty similar. You, you don't need another tutorial on it because it's about the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah.